So I've been talking about low code tools for a while on this channel. Now I've been a developer since 1994, but I think that low code and no code tools are very relevant today for professionals in the game. Now you have to think yourself as a coder developer, you're not necessarily going to be running to code every single time. In fact, one of the things I've been saying for a long time, uncle Steph says, don't look for code to write. Trust me. There's going to be plenty of opportunity for you to write code. So you don't need to go looking for ways to write code. What you should be doing is for looking for ways to not write code first and foremost. So when I approach a project, I say, what else is out there? How can we avoid writing code? Whether it be libraries, whether it be frameworks, whether it be low code and no code platforms. So what I'm looking at today is, so I'm looking at a website builder with slash e-commerce capabilities called Cobrio. This is a tool designed to make it really easy to put out good looking responsive websites in no time at all. So I'm going to walk through some of the features. I'm going to give you the use case. Well, let me tell you what the use case is. Use case is the case in which it is used. It's a nerd word if you don't know what it is. Use case. Anyway, the use case for Cobrio is that you need to put up a website super quick and uh, it's more or less a branding site. Maybe you want to do some basic e-commerce in there and you just want to get the word out about something. So this is uh, a very common use case in the world of uh, small business, especially. But even small business, even large, medium-sized business may want to use a tool like Cobrio because um, maybe they want to put up a website because they have a conference that they have coming up. This conference is coming up in a month or two. They don't want to have to start building a site from scratch for a conference. They want to just put up the conference page, book here, blah, blah, blah. Maybe look at it, link it up to other low code solutions like Calendly and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And away you go. So this is a uh, promotion. But as you know, I don't promote tools or products that I don't think are worthy of your attention. That's for sure. I don't want to besmirch my reputation. So this is something worth looking at for these type of projects. So let me give you a quick view of the uh, tool. Bang! And this is the home page, of course. So I created an account. You can create a free account, which gives you full access to all the capabilities in the platform, except you can't publish. What they've done here is kind of clever. I think they found a nice blend between drag and drop functionality, all kinds of assets built into it. So when I'm talking about assets, I'm talking about things like images and icons, the ability to easily uh, embed videos. Uh, they do things automatically. So for example, let me just give you an example of this. So when we're building websites, if you're new to the game, you want to make your website responsive, meaning you want the site to be able to flow and flex depending on the size of the uh, device somebody's viewing the site in. So it could be a web browser size, could be a tablet size, could be cell phone size. So up here, I'm in the code editor, well, code editor. I am in the editor, the drag and drop editor for Cobrio. And you can see up here, you got three icons. So right now I'm desktop size here. And this is, now I haven't edited this. I'll show you how, to, how you edit this. This is a page I just created. And that's uh, tablet size. And that's what it looks like on the cell phone. As you can see in tablet size and cell phone size, we need to work on some of the formatting here. I just worked on this right here. So let's say Studio Web, which is my platform. Let's say I wanted to put up a quick little microsite, which happens all the time for some sort of promotion, some sort of cross promotion with one of my distributors or something. So let's say I was put up a quick site, boom, let's use Cobrio as an example. So here it is. So I want to promote some of the backend tools for studio web so studio web you've used my platform to learn code actually a lot of the fun in studio web is actually behind the scenes we have all these management screens and so on and it just makes it easy for schools and districts to uh, manage teaching code so this is what it looks like so i'm here in the cobrio page editor if i go on the top left here you see pages you see this site has so far this many pages i can add pages by just clicking the plus symbol add a page but let's work on the home page. Now, this is based on a template, of one of the many templates, many, many, many templates that Cobrio has. So I can add pages and sections. I'll get into a few of these things. Well, let me just preview this very quickly. And here you go. So you see that little animation at the top here when we refresh that? Boom. That's all created with Cobrio. So you see the page. I created something here. This 
section here with the building again this is all this drag and drop from their uh collection of photos now you could upload photos i uploaded this photo of me in my my old favorite gray cap and this is of course this is just placer text laura ipsum placer text anyhow so here we got a page that shows a cl classroom management screen and you can click here to learn more now watch this i, I or shrink it see so you got a little hamburger menu appears here you don't even have to code that. You don't have to worry about that. Cobrio, we're smart enough to know when we go responsive site like this, meaning we shrink to tablet size, the standard is to put a little hamburger menu. It looks like a hamburger, you know, three dashes here. That's why they call it the hamburger menu. But you see the formatting is no good. So we're gonna work on the formatting. Same thing with the mobile view. So let me just bring that up. So that's the demo. So let me go back. I'm not gonna do super precise editing, but as you can see, it's just drag and drop. Okay, I can increase the size of this. Too big, so I to select it all. You see here, I got a full editing capability, so I'm gonna reduce this to 36 points. There you go, better. Again, I'm not gonna tweak it like I would if this is a real project, but you can see I can rearrange everything. Let me get this longer, teaching code is fun. All these guides appear, so it helps you line up everything. There we go. So that's it for this particular section. Oh boy, it even here is screwed up, so I'm gonna go down here. I'll, be, I'll go down here, put my text up here. You get the idea, right? You can rearrange everything you want. Let me preview that, preview. So now full screen is what it looks like. If I shrink it, boom, not bad. See, super quick, right? Super quick. This small view here has to be uh fixed up so i go back to here go small yeah it's no good go like this again let me just decrease the font size here it's at 28 so we just go to uh 24 for example there we go that's good that's it that's it so and i could go on and on we can add sections so let's uh, see this is no good too like this so let's preview that so this is, of course, full screen, tablet, cell phone. Not bad for about two minutes. As I said, Cobrio has all kinds of assets built into it. You have a collection of icons, tons of icons. We'll get into it. Tons of photos. You can upload photos, add video, add e-commerce capabilities. It's pretty cool. So I'm back here in the Cobrio editor. Let's go up. Now we can explore other pages. Let's go to the pages icon here. Select the page. Here's the page in our, our view. I can add text. I just added text here in this section. Now what happens, you select a section and then you click add text and it adds text to that section. So I got some more sample text. Or I can select a section. I say, I want to add um, a button. So you add a button. So you add another button here. And you can size and style the button. If you look here in the top right hand, you can add a link to the button, change the style, the background colors, whatever. Very quick and easy. You can set all the particular formatting that you want. So I'm just going to place it back whoop, back here. So you got you got pixel perfect control. It makes it really easy. Um, and then what else can we do? Oh, let's you know let's scroll down. Let's select this image. Nice image, but let's replace the image. That's no good. Let's upload an image from my collection. Yeah, that's not good. Ooh, that's really bad. Let's find a, a good Steph image. Uncle Steph looking mean. So we upload it straight in. There we go. It replaces our image. Fantastic. You can set the width and height of the image, of course. You can resize it. You have, of course, undo. All the things you would expect in a uh, proper editor. So if I wanted to, I can, let's, um, let's delete all this stuff here. Make it easy. Let's add some shapes. We got some shapes. So we got all kinds of icons, so many to select from. I don't know, let's put in a uh, crab. I like a stone crab, so that makes it. It's a vector art, so it scales perfectly. Again, all these assets come free. So let's say uh, you want to put your crab up top. You see this little area? Click on that. Boom. Now it appears on top, so we preview. We can add new sections if we want. Now the sections, you have all kinds of different templates as well, which is very cool. Again, if you're design challenged, 
you can see how you can put it together. They're getting pretty smart. Like Cobra is a good, smart web builder where you got big templates and mini templates. The old style templates were complete site templates. They're still good, but I like this idea of like content templates or content segment templates. So there's a good template like this. I can see myself working with this. So let's add that. Boom, there it is. Eh, let's move it up. Boom. So it's the top template. So we can select this, and again, we can change the color, get rid of this bad color. I like this color here. This is a much more Venice-y color. There we go, right? And this text has got to change now. So we change text. Yeah. That's good. Select this text. This should be white as well. See, it shows you recently used colors. Just click on that. Boom. Pretty good. This click button. Yeah. We got to style that. Again, always the styling. You select an item, you can just style it in the properties tab on the side here. You get the idea of preview. There we go. And then your client says to you, no, no, I want this crab section up on the top. We're all about crabs. So there we go. no problem. So you have to go in there and mess around with code. So that's it. At the top now, preview. Perfect. Fantastic. Pretty good. That was a brief overview of the powers and capability Cobrio has. I'm going to list a bunch here so you have more to look at. Everything I did right here was done with the free platform. You could build out all your sites, etc. And you don't have to pay a thing. And when you're ready to go, just click a button and you can get your full website launched with a click a button. And it's very, very inexpensive. Link below. And they have all kinds of other capabilities. You can set up quick e-commerce capabilities, etc. Quick e-commerce, Google Business Integration, Zapier Integration. Worth looking into. I hope you found this video useful. Bye-bye.